up guys welcome back to my channel a hooper's touch this is your girl dana and if you're new here hit that subscribe button turn on that bell notification so you are notified every time i drop a new video Woo! so as you can tell by the title below this is the long awaited <laughs> basketball play corner for my son so this is only going to be part one so in this video, I'm gonna show you all how I do the graffiti on the wall. I'm gonna show you all how I made the backboard, show you all how I put up <laughs> the board, and I'm gonna show you all how I did some of the padding on the wall and the basketball floor. Let me just do this disclaimer real quick. A lot of it is pictures. <laughs> A lot of it, you don't see me doing it because the basketball court itself I spent about two days doing that. I had the camera rolling. I wanted to make sure I had some, some B-rolls and let me tell y'all, <laughs> there were several times I had to just rip the paint, not the paint, but the tape right off of it. There was times that my son took it upon himself <laughs> to take the tape off of it. So on that part, I was not able to show you how I actually put the tape on the board because my board is a four by five board, but your board might be bigger, your board might be smaller. So your dim your dimensions will be different from mine, but I did show you how I taped it off. Well, the actual tape on the board and then me painting in the lines. So if you're interested in seeing how I did this first part, stay tuned. Like I just stated, I got this thin plywood from Home Depot. It was about $12 and then I had them cut it down four feet by five feet. And then here it is after three coats of white paint. Now we're seeing it at one hour, the one hour mark, still got a lot to go. Now we're seeing it at the two hour mark. Some progress, not enough to know that it's been two hours. Now for three hours, it looks like we're definitely making progress. Y'all, this was hard. But look how beautiful it is. And that is after I colored in the Zaire with red. Now for us to put it up on the wall. This was kind of hard doing it by myself. But what I did was I knew my shot clock was going to be in the top right corner and then my scoreboard in the middle. So what I did was pre-drill some holes so I knew where I was going to put the screws in the board so I can hold it up because ultimately what I want to do is be able to take it down and move it into our new house once we move out of here. So it is renter friendly. So I'm going to stop talking now and let you guys see the rest of the process. All right, so now that we got the board up, it is time to add the, the shot clock here, and then we're gonna add the, the backboard here. So I put, I have put 
command strips on the back. So we're gonna command strip it up there. And then I also put command strips on the back of the backboard. So let's put it up. It's good. Okay. Okay. So I do not know. I don't know if this backboard is going to be too big. I mean, too heavy for these command strips. So now we're getting into the actual basketball court. The paint that we will be using is the chalk paint from Walmart. It is about $5.50. And I'm just using a sponge brush from Joann's and that's about 69 cents. If you hear a little noise in the back, that is my son playing with his Legos. But this process was so easy and it was very satisfying <laughs> because if y'all knew what I had to go through to get this court the way that it was. Oh, so help me God. <laughs> so I'm just going um, in between all of the tape lines to you know, paint them black and then I'll let you look at it a little bit longer and then we'll speed up to taking the tape off. All right, guys, <laughs> I hope you're still with me. This corner was so tedious and I hope you guys are staying engaged because I'm trying to show you all the steps that I took to get to where we are currently. And I don't want um, too much confusion, so... <laughs> Sorry for the long and drawn out um, sections, but I definitely just want to be as thorough as possible. So now that we're done with the back, the, the graffiti board and the, the, sorry, the shot clock and the backboard um, and the floor, 
I am going to show you what it all looks like with a few of the cushions. I want to go more in depth with how to make the cushions in the next video just because of time and I think it would all make more sense <laughs> with the second with part two. So I am going to insert a picture now. <laughs> All right, so that wraps up part one of my son's basketball corner makeover. Man, this finished product is about to go crazy. I cannot wait to see the finished product. And I'm sure you guys can't wait to see the finished product either. So please tune in next week, Monday, for DIY Monday. Um, and just to let you all know, you may be some new viewers, but I am uploading every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So Mondays are my DIY days. Wednesdays are my Get With It Wednesdays, where I update you all on my fitness journey. And then on Fridays, it's just Vlog Friday. So it's gonna just be an extra video for you all. Um, trying to be as consistent as possible and just pumping out content so you guys are entertained and we can grow this channel y'all i know we can so if you haven't already subscribe to this channel turn on the bell notification so you are notified every time i drop a new video also send this to your friends come on y'all all right see y'all next week bye